At SCG, we believe the journey to net zero is a critical path that all businesses need to take. We believe that supporting a circular economy to deliver carbon savings is crucial to achieve the savings required. We also believe that carbon accounting needs to be clearer and simplified for more businesses to drive these savings and achieve their net zero goals. This is why we have built carbon in setting into our sustainable certification processes. In a world of carbon accounting and net zero targets, carbon credits do have a valuable place. They provide funding for carbon saving projects across the world, from which the carbon savings can then be purchased by companies to offset emissions that are out of their control. However, the processes to account and validate them can require exhaustive and prohibitively expensive resources. Where these aren't in place, companies run the risk of purchasing credits from projects that don't achieve targets, have calculations that are challenged by NGOs, or worse, don't actually exist. Any of these scenarios will impact on a company's carbon accounting, forcing them to purchase extra credits to cover discrepancies. Carbon offset projects that are effectively managed and monitored do have a place in the world of carbon accounting. But to achieve net zero, we need another more robust, effective, and efficient solution. At SCG, we believe that companies should have a clearer, transparent, and efficient validation option of capturing the carbon savings, in a closer more direct route, from their value chain, through carbon insetting. SCG certification schemes validate companies that create and use recycled content, which saves carbon by negating the need to mine and extract fossil fuels and minerals. These savings are then calculated, banked and released within the value chain as part of Scope 3 Carbon Accounting. This simplified approach enables us to demystify the carbon accounting process, whilst independently validating that process is generating the savings. This shorter supply chain approach makes data capture and independent validation more robust. The streamlined process enables cost-effective validation compared to the more complex and distant carbon offsetting. The carbon in setting savings can be used internally by recyclers as part of their own carbon accounting, or passed along the value chain to customers who need them for their own net zero targets. Accounting is transacted through our carbon saving statements, and prices for the carbon are negotiated between the value chain actors. This more efficient approach generates revenue for recyclers, supporting circular economy, net zero infrastructure, whilst providing a competitive pricing option, compared to the open market carbon credits, for buyers with carbon accounting requirements. The aspects of clearer and simpler validation of recyclers, whilst reducing the cost of carbon for buyers, improves both efficacy and efficiency, reducing risk of greenwash, and making everyone in the value chain more carbon confident. In this review, we will cover the issues of carbon offsets, difficulties with accounting for them, and the benefits of utilizing carbon insets for clearer and transparent carbon accounting for companies, directly within their value chain. Carbon offset issues. As part of their commitment to fighting climate change, many companies have begun purchasing voluntary carbon credits, more commonly known as carbon offsets. These represent payments to receive a credit for certified units of reduction or removal of greenhouse gases intended to compensate for an entity's own emissions. Carbon offsetting carries numerous risks, such as failing to sequester carbon, re-releasing greenhouse gases, and even causing negative consequences for local communities. This raises questions over the credits bought by a number of internationally renowned companies, some of them have labeled their products carbon neutral, or have told their consumers they can fly, buy new clothes or eat certain foods without making the climate crisis worse. Another risk is climate change itself. Whilst tree planting for carbon capture projects is an important aspect of sequestration, Global warming increases the risk of wildfires releasing carbon back into the atmosphere. If that happens, then a secondary effect is that the companies investing in them for the carbon savings will have lost their offsets. Carbon insets versus carbon offsets. 
Carbon offsetting is a mechanism for companies to purchase carbon credits from carbon saving solutions, known as projects, that create a reduction in emissions of carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases, known as GHGs, in order to offset their unavoidable emissions. They can be used to offset scope 1, 2, and 3 emissions. Carbon offsetting usually balances the positive impact of a GHG reduction activity, outside of a company's direct or indirect operations. Carbon insetting refers specifically to GHG reductions that are directly related to a company's value chain, either by geography, production, or commodity. Specifically, carbon insetting means the intentional reduction of scope 3 emissions within an organization's own supply chain. These emissions are directly avoided, reduced, or sequestered within the company's value chain. Simplistically, it refers to the actions taken by an organization within its own value chain to fight climate change. The key difference between carbon insets and offsets is the way a company invests to reduce its carbon footprint. Carbon insetting involves investing in projects that are related to a company's products. Carbon offsetting involves projects that are not related to a firm's products. Insetting ensures that companies take direct responsibility for the emissions in their own supply chain. They also aid in improving sustainable management practices directly at the source. In carbon accounting, scope 3 almost always represents the largest proportion of emissions. Across the private and public sectors, these emissions are typically responsible for 70 to 90 percent of an organization's carbon footprint. Carbon insets are used to specifically target scope 3 emissions. They don't address scope 1, direct emissions, or scope 2, emissions from the energy that the company buys. However, as scope 3 can be larger and more difficult than the other scopes, carbon insetting provides a significant methodology in a company's carbon accounting process. Methodology and standards. Carbon offset projects are for the voluntary carbon market. Certification bodies set the certification standard for carbon offsets. Carbon insets are for specific businesses' supply chains. Many parties involved agree on the methodology used. Carbon insetting currently does not require verification or certification against agreed global standards. Nevertheless, Many insetting companies choose to work with an independent verifier or auditor to certify their results according to existing standards, as verification gives an insetting project more credibility. These standards are chosen by the company, depending on the main results and impacts the intervention focuses on, for example, plastic recycling. Carbon insets represent the addition of projects into a company's supply chain. Data capture is clearer and traceable, and so doesn't need complex and expensive verification, compared to carbon offsetting. External validation, offsetting vs insetting. Carbon offsetting validation can be a complicated and expensive process, often requiring third-party validations, which results in the carbon credits being sold a cost that incorporates the resources required. Despite this, there are still the associated risks mentioned previously. SCG's carbon in setting takes a value stream approach, streamlining the process with shorter data chains making them more robust. These efficiencies require fewer resources, and so have lower associated costs. For carbon in setting to be a credible factor in carbon accounting, and avoid being accused of marking your own work there needs to be an independent element to validate the data and carbon savings. This is where SCG certifications come into play, providing this external validation. SCG's sustainably sourced plastics and low-carbon product certifications are used to validate recycling processes that generate recycled content. Low-carbon generation through recycling In a circular economy, Recycling companies take the recyclable materials generated by consumers and businesses. This means that the materials don't need to be extracted from the earth, such as fossil fuels, minerals etc. As recycling can be a much less intensive process than extracting virgin raw materials, there are associated carbon savings, which are classified as avoidance. 
The carbon savings generated by recycling can be calculated and captured for carbon accounting, specifically for scope 3 purposes. SCG's carbon in setting process. Once a company has achieved SCG certification, we then calculate the carbon savings generated specifically against the material being recycled. These are captured in our carbon saving statements, which are then used as evidence of the carbon saved. These controlled documents are effectively managed to avoid double counting. This process provides traceability and evidence of manufacturing low carbon products. This increases trust in the business's brand and products, increasing engagement with environmentally aware customers, who in turn, are more likely to recycle, consequently increasing recycled content availability for your business, and the overall circularity of the materials involved. SCG Carbon Confident After developing piloting our certification schemes and carbon saving statements, we have now successfully certificated a number of companies, who are now generating carbon savings through their recycled material outputs. At SCG we work to demystify and streamline sustainability, so that more businesses can get involved and work towards net zero. We believe that this approach will engage more and more businesses to make a difference, and drive the innovation we need to achieve this critical goal. Whilst utilizing our understanding and experience to develop business-appropriate systems, our robust certification schemes provide the confidence required for effective independent validation and carbon accounting. If you would like to know more about what we do, our certifications and carbon-saving methodology, then please visit our website and get in touch.